Free Fire maps are back in CS2. As you can see, 5e Play has created three Free Fire maps so far. And this is kind of a big deal because Free Fire maps can help you guys a lot fundamentally in Counter-Strike. And they were behind a paywall behind Refrag. So now that they are uploading these on the workshop, this is very good for the community. And I'm going to go in one of these maps and explain how they work. But before I do that and showcase this map by 5e Play, if you guys want any cool skins in your inventory, make sure you check out the sponsor of this video, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CS2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins. My favorite thing about Skins Monkey is that I can trade skins that I no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value. If you use code LOUISCS2, you get a $5 bonus on your first trade. If you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. So I've loaded into the Mirage pre-fire map. Currently there is Dust 2 Inferno Mirage and he also has a aim training map which is actually a very good map to play. But we've loaded into the lobby here and as you can see we can select what guns we want for this pre-fire mode. You can also select what knife you want as well. So maybe if you feel like rocking a Nomad knife or any other knife over there you can also use that as well. But as you can see here there is a little menu which kind of explains all of the different entry scenarios that you can do. So we can sit here and swap and pretend we're a CT retaking the a site and then also you know maybe you're running out top mid to cat as a t and there's all these different options that you can choose from now there is options over here that aren't in english so they are hard to understand and you'll kind of just have to play around to figure out what works for you like obviously this is if they had head armor infinite ammo this is if the bots are shuffling around stuff like that you really just want to play around with these some of them show like hit boxes of where the bots are on the map so that's also very important if you want to kind of just mess around with those settings you can do that but if you want to play whatever scenario you you chose you just want to hit play up here and as you can see you're going to spawn in with a nice little time it's going to show me i have 20 targets and i'm just going to follow this line and i'm going to practice pre-firing and clearing my angles working on my counter strafing and crosshair placement now i have it where the bots don't shoot me so i can you know kind of just take my time out here and just really practice my crosshair placement just something that all you guys should do and i just want to make sure i'm isolating angles when you guys play pre-fire maps i know i'm showcasing the map but for fundamental reasons you want to make sure that you're isolating the duels into a 1v1 you don't want to peek far out here and try to shoot this spot you always want to make sure to isolate the angle kind of just like this and i'm just going to keep going through you see i have 12 out of 20 bots and i'm just going keep pre-firing through the map and i'm just clearing my angles making sure i'm all good and as you see i have 19 out of 20 bots and then boom, I'm going to spawn back into the lobby. And obviously it's going to show your time. So if you are someone that's really into that competitive edge, you can definitely train yourself to kind of speed run through the map. Now back in the lobby, for any of you new players that haven't ever played a pre-fire map, I recommend enabling the setting. And this is going to show you where the bots are on the map. So if I choose a scenario like this and click play, you're going to see that I can see the head of where all the players are. And that can really help you practice your crosshair placement when pre-firing. So you kind of get a good idea where to aim. And then and once you kind of get comfortable with identifying where the head level is for where you need to pre-fire, you can turn the setting off. But this is something that I think is really cool that Yprac used to have as well. I think it was automatically enabled on the Yprac maps and you had to turn it off. But this is just something good because it, again, helps with your crosshair placement. You can really practice aiming where these guys will spawn. And then once you get more experience with that, you can eventually just turn it off. And then you'll be able to just aim where you know these guys will be. So then it'll just be out of form of habit with where you're crosshair is and you're not running around like guessing if a guy's right here or not and i think it's very important to do like i said if you are a new player and it also helps you if you're not familiar with angles like obviously i wouldn't have aimed at this con guy here running up cat in the pre-fire map it will help you identify where some bots are if you forgot any so that is definitely a good setting to use but there is also all these other settings like i said that you just need to play around with and i think it's really cool that we're starting to get the pre-fire maps back in the workshop since we are missing y prac and i think everyone misses y prac but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for some cs2 content and if i miss anything make sure you guys comment down below in the comments i respond to all you guys as long as you don't say anything sus and i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out